game starts. Kitten, can you tell us a little bit about why you like this ship so much? I love the ship because she's she's a Massachusetts on on Royce. She's got great. She's got good AA. I don't want to say great AA. She's got good AA, but she's got great secondaries. She's got torpedoes. She's fun. And you guys will see, we are on <laughs> my favorite map. And I'm sure you guys know where I'm heading, but I'm not just going to crazy YOLO it. So just have patience. I promise I'm not going to go crazy on this one. And I have Happy Feet and Cryo in here with me, too. I see that. They are divisioned with you. Were you streaming when you did this game? Yes. Okay. Now, this is two brothers. This is Standard Battle. Now, Standard Battle is important to understand. It's going to play very differently from a domination. If you're playing Standard Battle, with how close these, uh, these capture points are, you absolutely have to make sure that you protect your cap mostly. There's two enemy carriers, which is oof. Um, so... You going into the channel is okay because it keeps you close to your cap when you need to defend it. I like and this. And I'm not going all the way in. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to go all the way in, right? Like Right, but a lot of... Usually when I used to play this map, I'd go nuts. Uh -huh. And just go in and start going crazy. Now, I've kind of learned, sit outside for a while, wait, see what's going on crazy ones who come through and then go through now what i like to do oh it's bobo the monkey boy i saw him earlier today in ranked uh what i like to do is actually get spotted going into the channel now it's a little harder with carriers with two carriers it's a good idea not to go in because quite frankly you could get farmed down very easily from two enemy carriers but if the enemy sees you going into the channel they might all jump to wait to receive you coming out, which is great because you just took like three or four people away from the battle. Stormflight, what's up, dude? College is rough. What are you doing in college, sir? 12 guns go burr, right? And this is my favorite map. I know a lot of people hate this map, but this is my favorite. Hey, Miss Patriot's here. What's up, Miss Patriot? Good hey, to see Ms. you again. Patriot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing Warships, uh, Warships Spring Championship, also known as Knots, or I can't believe it's not Cots. What's up, Lancer Lucis? Things are well with me, other than getting a new video card and somehow that's screwing up my entire audio setup, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, so, anyways, you won't see me next weekend doing replays, you will see me doing... Uh, King of the Sea-ish stuff on Saturday and Sunday starting at 2 p.m. Central Standard, so two hours later than normal. Um, I would imagine it's going to last about four hours, might last a little bit longer. I'm hoping to do a couple of replay analysis uh, afterwards. We shall see how that works out. Yeah, I saw 07 was uh, seated, so 07 just plays on Sunday. And then See, the, and I was just going to chill in the smoke, and then this guy just came shoving in. I'm like, all right then, homie. Yeah, yeah. If he's going to go in, you might as well go with him, and, you know, yeah. they'll probably shoot him and not you, so I like it. Yeah. Um, I'd probably get my guns, my rear guns pointed left, though, instead of right. Because chances are you're going to turn hard right if you see an enemy in front of you here. There you go. Now they're starting to turn. So yeah, so uh, next weekend is going to be Warship Spring Championship, and I'm so excited. In two weeks, I will not be streaming, because in two weeks, I will be sitting alongside Sea Raptor in Austin, Texas, at the Wargaming headquarters, uh, doing the official 
the finals stream, which is, I'm so excited. I just can't wait. Just to go home and fly right back. Why did you, yeah, why did you torpedo <laughs> down the channel here? Because I wasn't sure if there was anything around the corner, so well, why not? Well, okay, so if there's anything around the corner that you find, would be spotting it. Look, so kittens aren't perfect, okay? I, I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just pointing this out. This is an opportunity oh, to learn. I um, know. I use a, as you can see, I use a mod that tells me when my teammates are detected. So that would have helped you if you would have known he was detected or not. You wouldn't have needed mm -hmm. to fire the torpedoes in that case. I bring that up because as you come down and exit the channel, typically if things, if, if enemies think that you're coming down the channel, they will sit there and they will wait to receive you. So, mm -hmm. you know, being in position of being able to fire both torpedoes on both sides is, is advantageous. What's up, Ducky Shot? Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. I hope you had a good stream. And those of you that uh, are jumping in on Ducky's raid, welcome aboard. I'm Lord Zeth, a North American community contributor for World of Warships. And we are in a replay analysis portion of the stream where we talk about what people are doing right, what people are doing wrong, and try to give some feedback to help uh, everybody grow. Turn and kill the Cheshire. Hurry up. No, forget about the Zara. Forget about the Zara. Turn. Get your guns on. Get your guns on. You wasted a lot of time there. You got the kill. Now, let's talk about that for a second. The uh, Cheshire, because you gave him that much time, he could have, could have fired torpedoes off of his side. Now, I would turn far left, keep turning left, bow towards the North Carolina, because you're broadside to him right now, which is no-no. So, bow towards the North Carolina, keep your guns to the right. You can get all guns to shoot the Parsifal while you're bowing into the North Carolina. Instead, you're continuing to sail broadside to the North Carolina, which is probably going to hurt you in about 30 seconds or less. Zara coming in. Hopefully your Zara... The, uh, nope. Focus the Zara with your secondaries. And because you didn't turn, your, your rear turrets are actually on target. So, nice kill there. Still, I am very nervous about this North Carolina being broadside to you. Uh, never mind he's shooting HE at you. What the hell? <laughs> you don't understand. This battle was so hilarious. I was just like, alright then, let's just do this. I'd still shoot the Parsable here, but okay, yeah. He's slowing down, they might not hit. Might overpen the bow. Yeah, they overpen the bow. Uh, your, your front turrets are ready. Shoot the Parsable. And now you're turning against your turrets. So hold your turn until your turrets are on target, then turn. There you go. Secondary focus on the Parsifal till it dies. Never mind. There you go. Um, I would shoot the Akizuki here. Not the North Carolina. You, you can shoot the North Carolina because you're showing your broadside, I guess. But Akizuki, I think, is the bigger threat between the two of them, especially if the North Carolina is shooting Ichi at you. You know. Mm -hmm. Magic. So you can imagine how much I was giggling during this battle. Mm-hmm. Uh, why are you torpedoing the Ryujo? Your torpedoes reach six kilometers. There's no way in I hell... I have no idea why I did that. Uh, heal. There you go. True story. I have no idea why I launched this. Uh, don't shoot the disappearing carrier. Shoot the North Carolina. Get them killed. All right, and that's game. Imagine getting a expert in Kremlin against the hack and barely taking damage when he focuses you. Guess I learned to dodge counter CV attacks. 